and good morning it's Fraser Cottington this is find of the day and uh, just for a change I thought I would uh, put a um, pre message out in my drive down it's quite um, uh, for what reason I don't know I just thought I'd do it for a change there we go and um, I'm uh, heading down to my local patch because that is what I do which is Dinton Pastures, Labels Lake and Lee Farm and the adjacent landfill and all the airspace above it. There are a number of lakes at this um, late 70s set of gravel pits just about three, four miles northeast of Reading, Berkshire, UK. It's um, quite mature um, with the exception that Lee Farm is the newest gravel pit. We took tenancy, if you like, on um, 2006 when they finished putting um, rubbish into the hole they made when they dug all the gravel out and that was uh, a landfill it was an industrial um, landfill site that had um, all sorts of rubbish thrown in the ground and then they cover it over and then the methane emits for the next sort of 20 or 30 years so they reckon we've got about another 20 ish to go and then it'll just be as it is now probably grazed for sheep farming and the uh, grass they cut off my hope is that they do not develop it later on in uh, our lives and turn it into a um, housing estate or a uh, business park as has happened in a few cases around the country and um, that would spell disaster for the nature reserve and all the good work that we've been doing for the last four decades as a charity friends of lavels lake and now lavels wetland trust of which i was chair for 20 years and i'm still involved on the committee so, um, just in a little bit of Saturday morning traffic, it's the 25th of January, we've still got five, six days left of January, and I think the park is on 86 species seen so far, and um, there's a few things missing in terms of uh, what we would hope to see. Um, the weather's not, of course, been very cold, so it does have a bearing on what can be seen. Extra cold weather can have a, a dramatic effect. Um, but I think it's fair to say just watching a site well uh, can make all the difference. And um, haven't got very long, got about an hour-ish before I have to take my son somewhere. And um, he's had football this morning, so I've had no time at all. Um, I, with a bit of luck, I'll get a little bit of time late this afternoon. I think it's going to stay pretty grey, so expectations are not what you would call high. Um, but we do remain optimistic well I do anyway I'm always optimistic because every time you just think it's boring nothing's happening something that just happens out of the blue in the last second I will go on to say many times I have been um, having a very average even non plus day about to leave about to close the flap on the bird watching hive and bingo something just flies past or drops in and you go get in um, I've had no opportunities as such to get out for any length of time um, during the week since the goose sander last week um, which uh, more or less is about the most uncommon bird I've seen this year um, with exception perhaps of woodcock which are wintering in the area every year they're just hard to find hard to see um, but goose sand is definitely the most uncommon thing so far this year for me. Um, that's it. We're um, going to be there in a moment. I'll pull up, do a um, quick introduction. I'm still on the hunt for a much more common bird, a missile thrush, um, which should be out on the golf course. But the times I get available to do it are the weekends at the moment. And that's the time that um, just about every dog walker and his goldfish I've been uh, wandering around so it, it gets pretty busy out there at four minutes to 11 as it is now I'm not optimistic but missile thrush is not a species I am concerned about seeing throughout the year they will um, uh, start making their rattling calls and pop up in all sorts of little places not a common bird fairly scarce I don't know whether they're nationally they're decreasing um, but they're not common around here um, so keep your fingers crossed I'll check some gulls if there are any I'll check the uh, other pits like Samford just to check we haven't got a red crested pochard which is up there with sort of one of the most um, likely at this time of year birds to just suddenly drop in out of the blue.
see you shortly. So, uh, it's my first opportunity to show um, you guys something. I'll zoom it up a little bit. And um, here we are. I'll uh, no, play no guessing games. This is a great spotted woodpecker. And uh, reposition the scope there. Bright red um, underparts, or the vent as it's called. On the back, you can make out this strong white solid mark along the back there. And um, I, uh, it's about as far as I need to zoom it in, probably about as far as I can zoom it in. It's uh, facing away from us at the moment. There's only two black and white woodpeckers in the country and uh, Leicester Spotted Woodpecker sadly over the last 20-30 years has virtually vanished. We were lucky enough about five years ago to have um, a pair winter and then breed. We're still by the road so the noise is not going to be ideal. But uh, there it is. They're getting very noisy. They are the traditional drumming woodpecker. They make other noises. But, uh, here we are, sitting around, having a look around at the top, as they do. They like telegraph poles as well. There he goes, he's off. I'm not going to have the luxury of being able to show you before and after, but uh, this uh, landowner, homeowner, as you can see ahead there, they're putting brand new fencing in. Everything you're looking at uh, behind the uh, large oak tree, or medium-sized oak tree in the bush immediately to the left there, this was all thick brambles and bushes, absolutely fantastic for all sorts of birds. Quite within their rights, they're uh, putting in uh, a... Um... Sorry about the pause, because I've just, just seen a kestrel. Let's pause that for a second. So, <laughs> there we go. Took me blooming ages, had a few camera problems. Uh, again, forgive the uh, car noise in the background. And there he is, sitting up in the tree, little old kestrel, first for my year list. Uh, one person seen one uh, flying over about 200 meters to my left. So again, it's in the right vicinity. This is um, one of the trees overlooking the old mansion grounds. Uh, for those of you who know your Reading history, this bird, uh, sorry, the grounds is, um, it's now like a business park, but um, the ground used to be owned by Lord and Lady Palmer of Huntley and Palmer Biscuits, Reading, very famous uh, uh, product uh, worldwide at the time. And um, there it is. But the kestrels sat in this tree. Have a look around at the rough grass of the uh, grounds still. And um, surveying the landscape. And the year tick to me. So I'm pretty happy about that. It's a lot to be happy about. I'm easily pleased, really. And a uh, nice little thing. Uh, it's um, become, I think I said before, the most uncommon resident bird of prey in our uh, area now. No doubt because of all the housing that's gone up in the last few years. Stunning little bird. I get the camera to focus on it. Kind of nice. It's more or less oblivious of us because we're... 100 plus meters away and I've zoomed it up on the telescope so rather obscured view but nonetheless we can see quite a lot of it see it looking around so very nice so uh, there wasn't much uh, more to say about it I uh, met my friend Al and uh, we wandered around the car park field and um, it uh, produced next to nothing really um, but uh, yeah pretty grey gloomy um, uh, 12.05 now, so um, spinning back to take my boy where he needs to be taken to. Um, but yeah, really not much to say about it all. Um, no winter thrushes visible, didn't see any obvious finch flocks. Uh, no ducks particularly moving around, not that many gulls. Pretty blooming quiet, but as we already know, the find of the day was the king, uh, Kestrel, nearly said Kingfisher. Kestrel, new for my year list. Only the second sighting this year. Like I say, it's very common in, in many parts of uh, more rural Britain. Um, but round our way, it has got proper uncommon and always presents us with a tricky task in early in the year, in January in particular. It will get more common later as some of the grassy areas of the landfill do, um, you know, uh, mature. Um, but right now, 
Um, I'm pleased with that. That was my find of the day today. Um, if I can get out again later, uh, we will see. Maybe it'll be um, trumped by something else. Have a lovely afternoon. Please do like and share this with your friends if you like it. Uh, and I'm, I'm left the comments box open so that you can also ask me questions. Um, be rude to me if you must, but uh, open to uh, suggestions of what you'd like to see more of. Hopefully um, focusing in on um, some of the birds today, in particular that uh, great spotted woodpecker and the kestrel was of interest. Um, a little gloomy and not ideal conditions to talk about some of the nuances of identification. And of course the kestrel was hardly visible anyway, but there we go. Stay well, I wish you great birding. I'm Fraser Cottington, this is Find of the Day.